Akron fans! Here's another FP VOD on Akron. I haven't done one of these in a long time, have I? So, we're just gonna start off. I just decided I'm gonna play Grekum now. A lot of people have been asking me to play another race other than Vekir, and Grekum seems like a good option. So, let's get started. Just gonna start up, get my RPs all set up, and then get a Octo built. Because I need to get, well, Octo's built, because I need to get some RPs, and that's how Grekum does it. So, just need to get this Faro down to a place where it's actually useful, and set into regeneration mode. At this point, I'll just be able to you know, actually build up a few Octos and just have them go forward, just to scout out my opponent's base, because might as well go for a bit of a rush build, why not? I mean, I want to see what he's up to. So, I'm going to do that, and after that, I'm just going to go and tell them to go... Okay, good. After I get them to do that, I'm going to get them to build up RPs through the Arcticus. It's a bit of a trick. Basically, what I'm going to do is have them attack with the Arcticus, and then when this time wave comes, it'll collect the attack, this blue time wave down here. And then once that's done, then I'll go back and tell them all to build RPs except one, which I'll have go and progenerate. So now I'm just going to go back and tell them, actually no, go back here, build RP, 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 and then whoever's left, you go here and then become generation. Now the reason I'm doing it through the Arcticus rather than doing it through just the Octo's own command menu is because Octo's are kind of peculiar in that they don't actually... Oh, it's not just Octo's. Grekum in general has actually got a neat little ability. You can queue buildings through the Arcticus, and if the units that are building the building die, they actually end up being built anyway, provided that there's enough units of the right type. So I'm going to double check to see what's going on with these Octo's. So it looks like my opponent is also playing Grekum. Okay, this is going to be a weird match. So I'm playing... I probably should mention, I'm playing against King John VI, as was on here. He's gonna drop this now. So King John VI is also Grekum, at least he appears to be. He may have changed his race, I don't know. But from what I can tell right now, he is playing Grekum, so as a result, I've got to be careful and make sure that I don't do anything too... well... Basically, I can't get too cocky, because I was thinking, normally playing against King John VI, he actually is known for having a bit of an issue with Grekum, but I guess at this point it won't be a problem, so I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful about that. So it looks like my Octo is actually able to do a fair amount of damage. Oh my goodness, my Octo is actually able to completely destroy him in the future. That that wasn't expected. Wow, okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Those Octos aren't actually going to be there ultimately, but hey, how about that? I can kill him right now if I wanted to. Okay, never mind. His, this red time wave here, that's showing that he's actually managed to kill my Octos and I haven't done a damn thing. But, eh, whatever. Take it, take what you can get, I suppose. Anyhow, just continuing to build up my economy, continue to build up my military just a bit here. Because I'm going to plan on doing is trying to set up kind of across the map. Right now I'm just going to set up my tech, but then after that I'm going to try to get a fair, a, at least another progeneration triad somewhere on the map. Because I want to make sure that I have a safe structure, a safe causal structure, I should say. And from there, it'll just be a matter of setting up RPs at that expansion and setting up, basically setting up what I need to do where I need to do it. So for right now, I'm just setting up what I can in this base, and actually going to build another Arcticus as well, because I've been suggesting people do this. People don't build a lot of Arcticuses, and this is something that I have noticed as a bit of a problem, because really, people are saying, oh, Grekum takes so much Chrono Energy to command. But the thing is, Grekum actually doesn't take a whole lot of Chrono Energy if you're using Arcticuses. It is a bit more restrictive, because you only have the, bro the broad orders, unless you have multiple Arcticuses, but you do have a bit more freedom in terms of what you can do, because at least with the Arcticuses, you can, well, basically get units to do anything you want. You can have them attack, you can have them move, you can have them chronoport, you can have them build, whatever you want, they will be doing it. The only thing is you have to make sure that you aren't being stupid about how you do it, because if you are, then you're going to end up wasting Chrono Energy again, and it's not going to help you at all. Anyway, so I'm just getting attacked right now, but it's rather quick. It's not going to be a huge problem. It's just the Seppi is going to take care of this Octo here, and then... Unfortunately, it's probably going to die. Okay, that Seppi's going to die. No, that's unfortunate. So I could go back and save it, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, right now I'm just going to set up... Maybe get an Octopod just early on, and try to get advanced structures as soon as I can as well. Because I want to be able to get a Spire so I can get air units, because that's going to be part of my ultimate strategy. And the other part of my ultimate strategy is going to be sending a unit over... Or a Faro and a Seppi once I get another one here. Area five. Okay, get an Octo and a Seppi, or Faro and a Seppi over to my base, over on, or over to this base over here, kind of the safe third. And from there, I should be able to get his nice safe expansion going and be able to have no problems setting up. So at this point, I just have this Octo 
set up here as well, a bit for defense, and I think I'm actually just gonna keep it up here, maybe scout again, because I want to make sure that my opponent isn't doing anything tricky right now, although admittedly, he is focused on the past, and so he could be doing something tricky back then. In the meantime, though, I will be setting up what I can, where I can, when I can, and hopefully it won't be- oh my goodness, okay, he's got an octopod, well, it's a good thing I scouted up, because I don't know what he's up to from outside my base, and I should also build- actually, no, I should build a faro back here, just because I noticed that I'm actually going to be needing- or I'm going to be getting advanced structures pretty soon. And I want to make sure that I have something I can actually use with it, because I do have this Faro going out here for the expansion. I do want it to go for the expansion, but I also want to make sure that I can get a Spire when I need one, because I'm going to need that Spire pretty soon. And it looks like- actually, I should probably set up these as hockey as well. So, I'm just going to set up my Faro- where is that? Alright. You were going down here. Uh, you individual light. And then you continue out. Now you go out here and you help attack. And this Seppi will also go out as well. Now this Seppi, I'll set it back because I'm not sure exactly what's going to go on with this. It looked like, oh, this is the Seppi that the Octo had killed before, and now it's not killed at all. So, I'm just going to continue. Why did you not, why did you stop attacking? Okay, so, I got this set up. I got another Faro coming up pretty soon. I have another Seppi coming in that's going to have to help out. And... Actually, you know, I think I'm just going to have both Seppies go over here, because if at least one lives, it looks like one of them is going to die. So this Octopod is going to live, and this Faro, I'm just going to have it progenerate when it gets to where it needs to go. Now, for my Spire, here we are. I'm going to need this, because I need to make sure that I actually have the ability to create the units that I need. The, the Faro, Faro Pods and, and Seppi Pods, and also need to get Lego Class as well. I'm just going to go for tech. I imagine that my opponent is probably going for chronoporting, and I do want to get that soon, but I also want to make sure that I do have a good base structure, because I want to make sure that I'm not going to lose all my units. Oh crap, what the heck just happened? Okay, it looks like... Okay, why am I not setting an attack out here? I'm going to have to go back and tell that attack to come back here. Okay, attack force. Attack force return! Okay, are you not... Why are you not attacking? I just told you... I told you to attack! Okay, this is kind of odd. I'm surprised that my units are not attacking when I ordered them to. I specifically ordered them to attack, and now they're not, and I've pretty much... I've nearly lost one of my units that could have been useful for regeneration. However, should be fine, hopefully, in the future, but I need to make sure that I'm not losing more units like this, because this was rather odd. I did not expect this, and I did not want to have this happen. This is going to be problematic. Am I getting... Here we are, H. Yeah, that's right. Oh crap. Okay, I need to get another Faro, apparently. Okay, so I'm being attacked by Cloaked Unit right now, and I do not have a Faro. I do have a Spikebug coming up very soon that will also help out. I'm just going to build another Faro just to have another Arcticus around the map, so I can have another... Because the thing is, you need Arcticus is kind of an advanced to be able to prepare what you need to prepare. And here you are, the Faro Pod. The Faro Pod's been killed, so that's no longer a big deal. I should... Oh, I'm not close my to getting anything useful. Okay, so I do have... Okay, my regeneration is just starting now, so I can now build up here. So get some RPs up here, and... Okay, well, I guess that's all the RPs I can build right now. So, for now, I'm just going to have what I have, and I have an Octopod here as well. I think I should really get... I'm going to get another progeneration set, because I believe I'm done with... Yes, I am done with the class, so I can build up high-tech units. And get another Faropod as well, so from here on, I can actually build up my legal class units that I need, provided that I actually get my progenerators close enough to where they need to go. The bloody morons. Okay, anyway. I'm just gonna see what's. Uh, not again. Seriously, again, another unattackable enemy? Okay, well. Did I. I did build another Faro, didn't I? I mean, I haven't used that Faro up or anything, have I? Oh, no, I have. Okay, never mind. There was the Arcticus right here. So, this Arcticus, number three. And number two as well. I'm gonna actually tell these, po these units to go to number two. So that I have just a couple of different groups. And these guys, who should be number six. Okay, number six. The Oak, number one, the Larch, I'm sorry, uh, it was just, uh, number one, yeah, the Arch is right here, yes, of course, <laughs> I'm, yeah, uh, yeah, I am a Montagathon fan, in case you're wondering, that's not important right now. What is important is that I'm getting this Farpod built up so I can actually get something done for generation-wise, and also I can get a slight harassment going, and at this point, oh, okay, I need to get another Arch BQP, and set up a... Oh, I can't get chronoporting yet. Okay, once I get the chance to get chronoporting, which should be very soon... I... I really should be paying more attention to my timeline, shouldn't I? 
making fewer Monty Python references, and hopefully I should be able to win from that, because if I'm paying close attention, then I actually have that half decent chance. Get back here! Get back, get back, 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 Ah, uh, shit. Retreat! Retreat, actually, retreat and de-progenerate. I need, I need a Seppy Bud! <laughs> I need a Seppy Bud! I need an adult class unit! Come on, you stupid thing. Oh, come on! Dang, you're stupid. Okay, so we got... Okay, now I'm getting quite heavily attacked, and I am gonna try to get another Faro up here. And another Seppy bot, hopefully, but I don't know how, it's, how that is going to work. Hopefully these aren't units in the future, because if they are, I am not in a good position. And unfortunately, I'm also getting attacked from the... He's doing stuff further in the past as well, which is going to be problematic for me. So it looks like I may have to use this base as well to be able to keep myself alive. And I don't know how well it's going to work. Because that base does not have a lot of resources, and this base is actually running pretty low as well. Although... Oh shit. Okay, now I'm, now I'm out. My only real chance at this point is to try to get for chronoporting, send my units back, and protect myself right now. But I don't think that's going to work out, because I do not have a whole lot of resources. I don't know where my resources are. I, okay, now I have chronoporting, and now I'm gonna yield, now I'm gonna have to use this base here to defend itself. Hopefully, I mean, I imagine he hasn't figured out that I have built here, but if he has, then I'm not gonna be doing very well. And I do not have a lot of chrono energy either, and this is very, very, very bad. Let's get myself further away from the unplayable pass so I actually have a chance to do something useful. And just build up. Ah, I'm out of chrono energy again. Oh crap! And he's probably gone to the pass to attack me further probably anticipating that I actually did do what I was planning on doing right now. And is his attack can't no his attack is over because he's just going back with it. Oh crap. Okay, so he's probably he's gone to the past around here and it looks like I don't know if he's actually continued to chronoport in an attack force or not. I'm I'm really worried that I'm not gonna be able to actually be able to get this out of this. Okay, chronoporting has been upgraded but I have no so I'm all dressed up now and nowhere to go. This is rather unfortunate. I'm gonna try to get I'm going to try to get one of these faros to build me a spire, and then others will have to just make do with what they have. So with this, I'm just going to link it up. Oh shit, I should have linked it up as... Crap. Okay, I'm going to have to link this up. Actually, I'm going to link this up to Arcticus 3. Just so I don't have any further issues with linking, because I realized that I actually... Oh good, so I'm linked to Arcticus 3 now. So I can actually have these guys... This is going to be really risky. I can have them... Oh shit, I can't. No, I have to have them attack, and then Chronoport once they've reached that point. Oh, right. Go. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, well, they're going to be able to defend their own base, that's for sure. Well, that was unfortunate. Bit of a waste. Okay, get me a Spire. Now, hopefully from here I'll be able to get actually something useful, because at this point I am running... Dr oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap, he did. He attacked me from the past. Further. Okay, this is uh, this has not been good. Okay, so I guess I am screwed. I really don't know how I'm going to be able to get back from this. I imagine he's figured out that I built up somewhere else at this point. And I do not have the chrono energy to really maintain a good base. But I do have units protecting myself from the past, so at least that is an improvement. So at this point, like I said, I have units that have chrono ported in and hopefully haven't killed themselves too hard. And it looks like, no, they haven't. They've just arrived... Or left. Oh shoot, there was no corner boarding going on. Oh crap, he destroyed that Arcticus too, so now I'm now I'm kind of out of luck. Okay, get another Arcticus going, and hopefully I'll be able to get something set up, because I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do anything without much of a base. But it looks like he was going primarily for air units, so that I know. I can build up Seppi Pods. And... Why are you not building units? What is going on? Produce a freaking Seppi Pod! For goodness sakes, why are you not producing a Seppi Pod? Ah, oh, man, this thing's annoying. Okay, get these guys linked up. I need to get you linked up as well. Oh crap. I lo Holy crap. That that just happened. I, I can't believe that just happened. Wow, I, I didn't realize that could happen. Well, yeah, there you go. That's um that's the ultimate victory condition. Apparently I didn't have any attack capable units in the furthest past. This is rather annoying, but okay, well I hope you enjoyed that, and good night.